Okay, so we've spent some time setting up our Ubuntu server. Now let's talk about actually configuring some networking on it. And we're going to start in this video by setting the host name. Now, if you remember correctly, when we originally installed our system, we gave it a host name. And you can see this right here. It's got my name, my logged in David at demo dash server. Now, if I type the command host name, that will actually show me my entire host name. And notice that when we did it, the host name only includes that first part of the domain. Now, I want to set this to be a fully qualified domain name. Now, before I do this, I also want to show you I can cat forward slash etc forward slash host name. And I'll see a little that host name stored in that file. So I could edit that or I can use we, it's the host name CTL. So host name control. I want to set host name and I want to call this. Oh, let's call this demo dot Dalton dot local. And that will set the host name for me. Now, authentication is required. I'm going to do this as user number one. Okay, so now if I do the command host name, it'll show me demo.dalton.local. And if I cat forward slash etc forward slash host name, it'll show me my whole name. Now, notice we haven't restarted or we haven't reset uh, our host name here on my prompt yet. So I'm going to exit and I'm going to log in again. And now we're going to see that that has reset. But notice, by the way, that it only resets and it only displays up to that first dot in the host name. So my host name is demo.dalton.local, but my prompt only shows me the first part of that. Now, one other thing we need to do when we set this is we need to edit our uh, hosts file. So I'm going to do sudo nano forward slash etc. Whoops. Let me try that again. Space forward slash etc forward slash hosts. And this is a local file for name resolution. Now, here's why we need to edit this file. Right here on this line, this is our loopback name resolution. So we see localhost. Um, but we see the old name demo dash server. So I'm going to replace that with demo dot Dalton dot local. And then I'm going to write that and exit out. Now that host file now should allow me to ping demo dot Dalton dot local and it should resolve to Right here, you'll see the IP address demo.dalton.local is 127.0.0.1, and we're able to ping successfully. Okay, there we go. Super easy to set the host name, but setting that proper host name is the first thing we want to do once we start configuring networking. The next thing we're going to work at doing is working with our Ethernet interfaces and our IP addresses.